which was the key. Which I'm glad we had that exercise. So it's not just in one sign, it's in so many different signs, isn't it? Very deep. Giving different strengths and effects in different areas of our life. Now, there's another factor happening here. The other factor is that in each division, there's deities. There's lords. And you'll kind of see that there's these things on here that you didn't, you're like the, you know. Um, if we look at the horror chart, we see that the Leo signs, the sun, sun is the Leo signs, are ruled by the devas. And the moon signs, the, the cancer signs, are ruled by the pitris. Pitris are the ancestors. So is the planet connected to the ancestors or is the planet connected to the devas? That's what the whore is going to show us. So if there's money problems, who are we going to go to? Are we going to pray to the gods or are we going to pray to our ancestors? That's the, okay. Now in the Dreshkina, the D3, if we look down at the, 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 the there's, it's movable, Rajas, Manusha. If you look at the last one, it says Sri Durwasa, Sri Agastya, and Sri Narada. It's in the in the box, the last the last sin signification in the box. Okay, those are three different rishis. Dorwasa is is connected to angry, fierce energy. Um, Augustia is is connected to great power, vision, and seeing energy. And actually, Mina, if you're down south, there's Augustia Nadi readers. You can go see. Um, and Narada is connected to permeating everywhere. It's the Rishi that's it's connected to Vishnu and, and this permeating energy. So each um, planet is ruled by a different one of these deities depending on what division it falls into. So if you noticed on the chart that I had you filling out, there was two boxes. The one box is officially for the sign it's in, the second box is officially for the deity that's ruling it. Okay? So we have either the ancestors or the devas. Then we have a rishi that's connected to the planet. Then if we go to the D4. Now the D4, and this is, we're not going to use too much at the moment. But there's four different deities. Sanaka, Sananda, Kumara, and Sanata. Sanatana. Sanatana. Oh, Sanatana. 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 <laughs> um, now, a lot of people who study the theosophical stuff know these names because supposedly a lot of the theosophical stuff is channeled through these particular deities. But they're the four mind-born sons of Brahma. And they're connected with different paths of, of yoga and purification. So each planet has a different way to purify itself and to, you know, and, and spiritual practice connected to it. That we see there by those deities. Then we have, if you look at the D7, the D7 has seven different rasas, seven different emotions, seven different juices or tastes. So for my, myself, my lagna is in kshara. It's in a kshara sign. So it means that my personality and the creative stuff is like acidic juice. Tastes good, but it gives you a little bit of a heartburn if you drink too much. <laughs> too much of me will definitely give you some heartburn, okay? <laughs> That's what you're giving us right now. <laughs> yeah. Where... Somebody, did, did, who, who did their Saptamsha? Who got to the Saptamsha? Who's, where's their Lagna? Which, which is your Lagna falling into? Can you see which taste, which juice? Mine's honey. Huh? Mine's honey. Your honey? When you create, it's sweet like honey, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm ghee. You're ghee, huh? Huh? 
It's fattening. Fattening, it's but tasty. nice and, and oily. It's unctuous. <laughs> Did we get yours? Yes, the curd. Your curd, huh? Cooling. Curd is like Venus. It has a slight sour taste, so it's very creative. Okay, so we see how, again, the creative energy of a sign has a deity, has a, has a taste that we can invoke and we can strengthen our own creative ability with these tastes. Each planet, we can bring out its creative energy with these tastes. Then let's look at the, um, the D9, the Navamsha. So the Navamsha is connected to Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu, as well as Manusha. Manusha means man. Raksha means... Um, de huh? Rakshasa. Rakshasa. Means demon. And Devata means uh, a deity. The Manusha... The Manusha um, temperament sh is... Um, the Devas are about seeking knowledge. The Manushas are about seeking materiality, the humans. And the Rakshasas are about seeking power. So by looking at where your planets are in the Navamsha, you can see, does that planet want power? Does that planet want money? Or does that planet want knowledge? Money is driving for money. Yeah, humans. Greedy humans. <laughs> So we can see that, um, and let's see, I do a few more. There's uh, the Dashamsha. The deities of the Dashamsha are the deities of the um, ten directions, the eight direct cardinal directions, and up and down. And so the, we can see the planets, what deities, if we want to strengthen our career, and how to exactly strengthen career, and how to strengthen creative ability, we'll get into soon. The concept here is to understand that each planet is connected to this deity and that that deity is in charge. So when it comes to career, there's a deity in charge of your Mars. There's a deity in charge of you. There's a deity in charge of your Jupiter when it comes to the career place. And so, did anybody get their Lugna in the D10? No. Did anybody get to that? Okay, it's fine. But in that, we can see... What deity is going to bring the most strength and power and help us get a job and help us keep that job? Okay? If we look down here at the D20. D20? Yeah, look at the D20. Who's, what are the deities in the D20? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the different types of goddesses. The goddesses are ruling the planets in the D20. The D20 shows your spiritual practice. So it's the Divine Mother that guides our spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. She gives us direction. Sanskrit word is gati. She directs our mind for spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. So with this chart, and, and I only went to D20 here, so if you can look in Parashra online, they have this, you know. I couldn't, as I said, run them all off because just space and, and amount of work it takes to type it all in. Um, <coughs> just work on looking at your planets, what degrees they're in, what umptions they're in, and what deities are ruling them. And soon we'll begin utilizing this information a whole lot more. And if you have it already written out, then once we start utilizing it, it'll be a quick reference for who's in charge of what planet to get things done nice and fast. Okay, um, so we got that done. Um, I want to go back. Do I got you guys for a few more minutes? Can we go over a little bit more? Your brains haven't exploded yet? <laughs> Heads are still on the shoulders? Can I turn on the light? Yeah, hit the light, Ajaya. That's your job. Let's go back to Adityas. You gotta turn, there's a switch next to it. Oh. Yay. So Adityas, who knows what Adityas are? 
there's a there's a sun there's a radiative of the the forms of the sun. Okay. What's the their purpose? The sun. There's a, like the they're like the twelve like different little suns. <laughs> 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 I know that was insignificant. <laughs> <laughs> It's in, it's in the same one, the blue one. It's back before the division. Just before the page. It's the page before Rashi divisions. Actually, it's the page. You got Rashi divisions. If you go back, you have a chart with that. And then it says Odysseus at the top of the page. Page 15. So the Adityas are born from Ditti and Aditi. Aditi is the mother of the Adityas, and Ditti is the mother of all the demons. All the gods come from Aditi, all the demons come from Ditti. Ditti means difference. Aditi means no difference. The unity, the oneness. Seeing the same in all things. Ditti means seeing the separation in all things. Seeing that how everything is different. So, Aditi gives birth to the gods, and her, some of her most famous children are the Adityas, the twelve forms of the sun. And the twelve forms of the sun, each of these 30 degree divisions, each of the signs, each takes on a different energy. And when the sun manifests through that energy, it becomes an Aditya, manifesting that energy. So it's the sun manifesting the energy of that sign. The Adityas, the sun.